Squirrels on my nuts again. Hey, go on, hey, get. Yeah. Get off my nuts. The start of another brand new week and the majority of today I have been doing valuations. And now for the last half an hour before we close, I am injecting some, uh, some rubbers. What I'm on about? A few months ago on At The Bench, if you're a member of our online training website, we cast a gold curb chain and we lost wax cast all the links. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous chain. And now my client has come back to me and he said he wants an extra, I think it's ooh, four inches on the chain. And he also wants a bracelet to match. And that is what I'm doing at the moment. I am making these little waxes. Waxes. There we go. Each one of those is a curb link. You can see we've got two open links and two closed links. Which means, which means I have half the amount of soldering as what I would normally do if I was making this up by hand. I've got to make 60 links, 20 links for the necklace, 40 links for the bracelet. Clients provided me with all the gold, which is brilliant. So I've got to make up 15 of these little guys. I've done two so far. So the idea is, this is the mold. This is the rubber mold that we have made. And inside this rubber mold was the metal master of the four links. Split the mold open, put locating lugs in the corner so it fits together nice and neat. We inject wax into this hole. It fills up the empty void that we've got there. Put it between two plates as we've got here. This is a chamber that is under pressure. We put uh, air into the top. There's molten wax in here as well. We should have a bit of a compressor. I've just simply got a foot pump to give me some pressure. We push this against the nozzle. When the nozzle goes in, the wax comes out. The wax fills up my void that I've got in here. Wait for three seconds, make sure it cools down, and then we are fit and ready to go to open it. One, two, three, out. Hold it upright because we've got molten wax in the top. The wax cools down relatively quickly. So we need to hold it there for a few moments. If I was doing a few of these, I would get my next mold, inject, put that to one side, my next mold and so on. I would do about four or five, six molds at a time. And I wouldn't be rushing like I am. So that's the mold. When we open it up, you can see the blue wax that we've got inside. The void has been filled with the wax. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer just for that to cool down a second. All right, so that's the wax tree, part of the branches of the tree that we will need to make up. That comes out if it wants to. Like that so those are my links we just make up all these little trees if you have the pressure too great you're going to get a bit of flashing what do i mean by flashing it's where the wax escapes between the mold and you get like like webbed webbing between the uprights which is right again so you can see you got that little bit of flashing but we can easily take that off with a knife not a problem at all all right I got another 11 to go. Injecting just one rubber at a time takes forever. It's taken me close to 35, 40 minutes, literally to inject that many waxes. Admittedly, I only needed to inject 15 of these little trees. I did, I did 18. Why did I do 18? It was because in case that when I put them onto the trunk, the sprue, when I put them together, uh, in case one or two really mess up and I mess up and perhaps I melt them or they'll snap. So 
it's quicker and easier to do it now whilst I got the injecting machine hot and ready as opposed to being just a little bit too short when it comes to sprueing them up and I have to put the machine on all over the world, you get what I mean. <laughs> Guess who dropped the till full of money? Jason B. <laughs> He's gonna be here a long, long while. It's Wednesday and my films are rendering and I just thought I'd show you a package that has come for me in the post today. A little bit of a background. Um, I embrace technology and sometimes I am just that little bit slow in embracing it. But when I do embrace it, I embrace it with open arms. Several years ago, uh, my daughter had the iPhone. The iPhone 3, I think it came out <clears throat> in white and I fancied one. And so I asked my nephew who worked in a phone shop, sell me the iPhone. Sell me, do your best sales pitch and sell me the iPhone. The only thing that he said, you've got to get the iPhone for one app. And what's that app? It is, it'll focus. It's called Smack Talk. And you have... And you can swipe it for the dog. And that sort of thing. And he said, you've got to get the iPhone solely for that app. It even records you voice and it plays it back. slower, faster, that sort of thing. And I, <laughs> I didn't really buy it solely for that app, but I had a chance of buying the iPhone 3 cheap because one guy was upgrading and I bought it for about a hundred pounds and I have not looked back. I have bought, I think, every iPhone since. I'm a complete believer of the iPhone. I know there are lots of you out there who don't believe, that's fine. I'm a true believer in the iPhone. It also makes telephone calls as well, as amongst other things. So when the iWatch came out, a little bit hesitant, not quite sure, seems quite big, quite clumpy on the wrist, not quite sure. Let's see how the iPhone developed, iPhone, how the iWatch develops. And it has developed. And I think there's the Series 2 now that has just been released. And so I was talking to a good friend of mine, Lee. Lee watches my vlogs. Um, he's down south of England and he's getting the brand new Series 2 iPhone iPhone, iWatch. Uh, and so I said, Lee, sell me the iWatch. He said, Andrew, I, I, I can't sell you it, but I'm telling you, you need one. And to be, to be honest, that was pretty much the same response that I got from my nephew, who I said, sell me the iPhone, sell it to me, tell me the benefits, you, you need it for this app. Lee, sell me the iWatch. I can't, you just need it. So, to cut a long story short, he's getting his Series 2. He has very kindly sold me his original watch. And that is what has come in the parcel today. So Lee, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. So this is not really an unboxing. I don't do that sort of unboxing sort of thing. But Lee has very kindly sent me his old iWatch. And I am still unsure whether I need it, but I'm sure, most posh, look that. But I'm sure that I do need it. So that's all I'm going to say at the moment. It is purely to tell you that I'm a slow adapter to technology, but when I do get technology, I embrace it. I was slow on the iPhone, I embrace it now. I'm a bit slow on the iWatch, but I've got one now. It may be the old series, and if I love it, if I like it, I can always get the latest series too. Oh, yes. I really do appreciate it, Lee and I'll let you know how things go. That's all I wanted to say. I'm gonna crack on with my coffee and I'm gonna crack on 
with my editing. Oh, and on the drone front, the drone's been ordered. It's a Christmas present. It's the DJI Mavic Pro. It's ordered. It's supposed to be for Christmas. There's obviously huge demand for it, and I'm hoping that it will be dispatched, sorry, and shipped to me before Christmas. But as it's a Christmas present, I don't really want to use it before Christmas. So I'm gonna leave off any sort of aerial drone shots. And we've got some fantastic scenery where we are up here in the South Wales Valleys, and also down Cardiff Bay. And I'm planning on lots and lots of, I'm not gonna overdo it like lots of people do. It's gonna be the odd shot, and I'm gonna have good fun. So the drone, is on its way. I had an acknowledgement yesterday. But in the meantime, I am going to play with this for the rest of the day. This is going to be, look at nearly, how many ounces did you say? Probably three, three ounces. It's going to be one mega piece of sheets. So we've got three ounces of gold. And it's going to get poured down into our combination ingot mold. We're making a nice piece of sheet for a big medallion for our clients. Could go to Camden Market as well, couldn't we? So back on the tube and let's spend some wonga. <laughs>
done. Starbucks. And now, we're gonna cross, yes, we're gonna cross. We're gonna cross. Very strange shops.